measles outbreaks that have been occurring in this country have been very much in the news. And an aspect of those measles outbreaks have been the school immunization laws that we have in this country. They too have become controversial. So let's think about those today together. First, let's recognize that these laws are not federal laws. They don't come from distant Washington. Every state has passed these laws. And let's think about that just for a moment. Recognize that every state uh, legislature has two houses, a Senate and a House, except for the state of Nebraska, which has a unicameral legislature. But if you total them all up, that means there are 99 legislative bodies where our elected representatives, close to our homes, meeting in our state capitals, at one time or another have debated whether every child going to school ought to be vaccinated against an array of communicable diseases. Ninety-nine times our legislative bodies have passed such legislation, and that's gone to the governors that have represented the entire political spectrum in the United States that have signed that legislation, all for the benefit of our children and healthier communities. Now think about that. 99 times. That's the epitome of democracy. Nothing that I can think of has been so profound in affecting the health of children because those laws have obliged most children to be vaccinated. Now, why do we really need those laws? Let's think about that. Well, we've done that experiment in this country and we've done it with measles vaccine. What do I mean? When we first had measles vaccine available in this country, through a hard effort of the medical community, pediatricians and family doctors, and public health departments, we were able to get, at best, 72, 73% of children vaccinated. That meant a quarter of them went unvaccinated and measles continued to occur in our communities. And there was also a paradoxical effect because the outbreaks were stretched out in time. That meant the average age of the child being vaccinated was older, which meant with older children getting measles, the rate of complications was paradoxically higher. So actually children were getting sicker when they did get the measles. And also as a society, a public health society, we decided not just to control measles, but to eliminate it completely. With measles being the most transmissible virus we know, the most contagious, that meant that we had to achieve levels of protection that were very high, well over 90%. So we needed the laws to get everybody in line to get vaccinated. We eliminated measles from the United States, from North America, from South America. We have eliminated measles completely through the application of these laws. But measles has been reintroduced into the Western Hemisphere in two countries, in the United States and Venezuela. What? Two different reasons. In the United States, it's because some parents, whether for cultural reasons, misunderstood religious reasons, or kind of libertarian reasons, have withheld many children from vaccination, creating pockets and communities of susceptible children. Measles abroad comes into the United States, imported into the United States, gets into those communities, and that's the source of these continuing outbreaks. In Venezuela, it's a little bit different. They've had so much political and social turmoil that they've had a breakdown in their public health system and their children are not being vaccinated for that reason. Is that a company we want to keep in the United States? We can do better in the United States. I think every child should be vaccinated and I will now make a bold statement. I think there ought to be valid, valid, 
medical reasons for exclusion from vaccination. I'm not a friend of either personal belief or religious exemptions. We have three states that have such tight laws now, West Virginia, Mississippi, and California. I, th I think their leaders and the rest of us should follow. I wouldn't want any child to suffer measles or its complications. I'll remind you of one thing before I come to a close. Before we had measles vaccine, 400 to 500 children died in the United States annually because of measles and its complications. That number now is zero. That's where we should keep it. And the only way we can do that is if we all join together and vaccinate all our children now going forward. I urge you to support the universal vaccination of children, every child who can, unless they have a medical exemption, be vaccinated.